Hey, hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another session here on Tears and Week to Row. Today, the Spirit called me to a passage in the Bhagavad Gita. So that's what I'll be uh, starting this session off at from this little passage. And I thought it was uh, very, very smart and intuitive of the Spirit to lead me here because um, it's talking about... Uh, the us as unique expressions, you know, as people and God's children, uh, seeking the most high and the reasons why we seek. And I thought it was, it was, it was pretty neat the way that they described this. So, uh, just wanted to share with you guys. Hopefully you'll stick around. We're going to pull some cards in just a minute. Spirit led me back to that wisdom oracle. So we have that out and ready to go. We have our quartz crystal here holding on for clarity. Um, and we also have the, uh, love deck too. Cause you know, we use our love to work our light and, and increase our lumens and all that stuff. So we're going to, we're going to jump into those. So that's what spirit is talking about. So right now, y'all, let's, let's, let's just see what spirit is saying in this passage. So I, I think that it's, uh, it's pretty neat. Right. And so it's pretty much, um, the essence of the Bhagavad Gita. And this is page 254. If anybody is interested in its knowledge and wisdom is the chapter that it calls me to. So knowledge and wisdom, right? So, um, it says those who seek shelter in me are four types. Those who are in distress, those who seek understanding, those who seek power in this world or the next, and those who are already wise, right? So it, it, I thought that was, that was pretty, um, you know, I mean, it's like just digging into why, you know, the people are usually come back to the most high. We always know when people are in distress, we talk about that pain as a catalyst kind of thing, right? So distress, pain, hurt, you know, you always kind of go back to the most high. Those who are seeking understanding and wisdom, yes, always go in to the most high, right? And then those who are already wise, right? They know that the most high has all the answers. So kind of like that Solomon kind of energy, he wanted to have wisdom above all things, right? So, and then the other one is those who seek shelter, right? So those who are uh, left out or feeling abandoned or, uh, yeah, I, I guess the best way that I could feel it is left out, isolated, out off to the side. Like you, they're seeking shelter, comfort, uh, consolation, you know, kind of uh, feeling. So yeah, all the ways that uh, people tend to to reach out and 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 want to commune with the Most High. And the one that I feel, like I said, uh, uh, been saying is yeah, distress, definitely distress right so a lot of distress in the wheat field amongst the nations of people you know it's just like uh we're crying out right and people are just uh getting weary of uh crying and crying and crying and asking and asking uh, for help um and it feels like god isn't hear them like god doesn't hear, doesn't see, doesn't recognize, right? And uh, the way the spirit is giving it to me is, I guess it's back in uh, kind of like old testimony. Where were we at spirit? Where we were talking about, is it in Isaiah? Yeah, we were in Isaiah and uh, yeah, right here. Look unto me. This is Isaiah 45 and 22. Thank you, Spirit, for bringing me right back to the message. Yes. Um, tell ye, bring them near and let them take counsel together who have declared this from ancient time. Who have told it from that time? Have I not? I, the Lord, there is no God else beside me. Just, a just God, a Savior, there is none else beside, right? Going back to 20. Isaiah 45 and 20, assemble thyselves and come, draw near together, draw near together, right? Us coming together, people, uh, you know, 
God's children in this plane, and, you know, getting to a point of understanding and empathy where we can see each other as selves, as other selves, as the most high and come together. So assemble yourselves, come draw near together. So I've been saying it's time to come in, you know, draw near together that ye have escaped the nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save. So spirit is really sticking to me about praying unto a God that cannot save. And it's just ringing in my head about how we pray, how do we activate, um, and making sure that, um, uh, everybody knows that they have access to the kingdom, right? There is no specific way, um, uh, that you must act access. Uh, spirit is saying to me, like, you know, we are all expressions of the most high and we have all have access to him or to it, to source, right? We can call in source at any time. We can activate the spirit of the source that lives in us at any time. And oftentimes people only do this when, yeah, hey, when they're distressed, right? When they're going through some things. Um, but unfortunately, do we want love first? No, we want wisdom. Thank you, spirit. Thank you. Yeah. So of course, like, uh, one of the texts was saying like a lot of times, which we know people call out to God when they're in, uh, when they're in trouble, distress, Hey, shit is going on. Shit is going down. You call out to God, like, Hey, source, I need help. Right. And then if they're seeking understanding, they're learning to learn more about the most high about source and where we come from, or how do these whole systems work and just have questions come seeking. Right. So, People do that. And then those who seek shelter, like want to be either hidden or clothed, you know, you know, whatever the case may be um, in the most high. And then those who, uh, yeah, that wisdom, you know, they just know that the most high contains everything, like everything is in the kingdom. So in order to continue that practice of wisdom, wisdom oracle, right, we, we know that source has it all. It's everything is all from source. We all come from somewhere. There's too many commonalities for us not to have a common source. We do have a common source. And how do we tap into that common source? How do we do that? How do we activate our power? Um, was speaking to one of my closest friends today and she was speaking on meditation and how in, in learning more about meditation, the yeah, TikTok fell out time, time. Yeah. Spirit said time. All that glitters is here. You know, everything ain't all that glitter. I mean, I mean, we thinking that it's forever. It's not, you know, cycles and cycles and cycles, right? It's not like this is doomsday or no mess like that. So don't think that I'm like one of them people. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that we never know how long our life experience is, right? We don't know how long we have to get this right. And people will say, oh, I'll start tomorrow. I'll start tomorrow, whatever have you. But you never know. Now is always the time, right? Now is always the time, Spirit says. Yeah, regeneration. We want to regenerate, you know, um, new beginning, right? When I see regeneration is starting over, we see fire and brimstone look like ash and stuff down here but then it starts to get blue and green with the spirit coming in the card is a 10 a four and six you know this is really there we go four and six right there so that's a 10 which yeah is a starting over the one and zero one being uh the foundation the beginning and 10 being an exponentiation so you know it's a new new start right yeah new start rebirth spirit says rebirth yeah the people can be reborn by by uh speaking life committing being devoted yeah to seeking spirit to to caring for self to connecting with you right your inner self right higher power Spirit pools. Let's see if we can get that into focus. Yeah, higher power. Yeah, again, four, that pivotal four of wands, stability, four pillars type of energy. Higher power, this per this energy has the key. If you can see that, get it back into focus again. Yeah, I see this key right there in the middle of their forehead. 
like that because that intuition, that raw chakra, is, the spirit is going to give you the downloads, right? Thank you. Come to the edge. You know, sometimes taking, we had this card earlier in our reading. We want to see if I can get that in focus for you guys. Yeah. You know, it could be risky, especially when you open and expand to the variations of the most high and like how full the source is. Um, it can be, yeah, it can be scary people to expand mindsets. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit. Thank you. Yes. To expand their mindsets can be scary, right? It means letting go of some of the things that you thought you knew that you identify with, but spirit says, breathe, like, right. Breathe, meditate. She's beautiful. Meditation definitely helps you get in touch with spirit. Uh, again, one of my friends was just close friends, my soul sister, my baby, you know, Hey baby, if you uh, see this, yeah. She uh, was asking me about meditation today and I was like, yeah, you know, I've heard that, you know, a couple of times and maybe we'll do something. We've touched a little bit on meditation in various different ways. We can do that, um, that it doesn't have to be anything that's like super involved. It doesn't have to be, you know, the, the, uh, Tina Turner, numb your whole rang and kill. It doesn't have to be that. It doesn't have to be, you know, sitting like a yoga style, like the monks do, even, you know, but it is really um, being in a quiet, like quieting your mind. You can meditate anywhere. You could be sit at your desk or, or go out into the car, you like for five minutes and, uh, and sit there in a closed space. If, if you can do it with soft music to clear your mind, but it's basically just clearing your mind and getting into a calm state, a relaxed position where you don't feel any tension in your body, kind of going through your mind and your body spaces, relieving, it's noticing where you have tension, relieving it, like maybe you can even tighten your body up, like mentally focus, tightening your muscles all the way down and then releasing your muscles all the way up, relaxing. And as you do, just breathe, right? Another uh, way is so hum breathing. Um, and it's uh, pretty much like when you take in a deep breath, you can hear that kind of sound. So it almost sounds like, you're sniffing, right? But it's like, that's what they call. And when you blow out, it's that. And so you're not really trying to make a noise with it. It's when you get into that deep rhythm of your own breath, just a deep in, letting it come up from your root uh, pelvic area, right? All the way up into your crown area. Breathe, 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 breathe there all the way up. Let it sit. And then I just like to let it fall all the way back down through that same root pelvic area blowing all the way up. So it's just kind of like a And I, the, the more deeply you can breathe and pulling that air all the way up, letting your lungs fully expand, letting that diaphragm fully open up and just letting that breath sit there in the crown and then bringing it back down and pushing it out through the root. Those chakras will help you kind of engage all of those energy systems, right? And actually, when you are able to get in that up and down uh, flow, rhythmic flow, uh, you may even start to have like kundalini, kundalini experiences, right? Because it's getting into that rhythmic, into that flow and opening up those centers, right? And allowing that energy to flow up and down, right? Up and down through, through the, through, uh, those 
through your chakras, right? And it helps with balancing. It helps with clearing out the space. It helps with the connection, connection to body, connection to spirit, um, and relieving that tension, right? You can quiet the mind and let the subconscious kind of rest, you know, and just, uh, yeah. And, and you open up a space of potentiality up in there. You know, you, you really get in touch with spirit in the most high. I feel like heart right here. Spirit. Thank you. Is this it? Yeah. Yeah. New life. Spirit says, spirit says new life. Yeah. When you go through that regeneration and, and, uh, getting in touch with spirit, what did I say? What is this, God, y'all? This is my soulmate card. Soulmate is you in spirit. You know, soulmate. You are the mate to your soul. Yes. Get in there. Relax and breathe. Get some of that energy going. Again, getting them systems um, going, you know. So spirit is definitely telling us, you know, a nice, a nice strong message. Rebirth is here, right? Renewing of the mindset, changing your mindset, changing your focus, being intentional about what you're doing, even understanding why are you seeking? What are you seeking the most high for? Are you looking for shelter? Are you looking for wisdom? Are you in distress and you need comfort? Are you already wise in understanding that the most high, it, everything is in the kingdom already. So to seek the kingdom, you know, it is your path. You know, you may be a devotee, someone who's devoted to that, you know, and then when you get there, you know, the most high definitely delights in the wise, right? That's why Solomon and the lesson of Solomon was so pivotal because of everything that Solomon wanted, he wanted wisdom, right? So those who seek the most high just because it's the wise thing to do from approach of, again, that wisdom oracle, because it's, you know, yeah, that is where the wisdom, that is the infinite intelligence. So when we reach out to the infinite intelligence and ask the spirit to bring in, like give our, our spirit to have that connection to the infinite intelligence, like to activate it, that to activate that. And then you can get those downloads coming in. That is the wisdom. That is where that wisdom comes from. Yes. And again, connected to the higher power, to the source, most high says, can we get that in focus, most high? Can we, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get that in, you know, get that in focus. Again, hey, focus, right? We've been talking about focus and intentionality. And sometimes it's going to feel like you're coming to the edge, right? And especially if it comes against something that is is a mindset that is kind that you identify with as as a part of your personal uh uh self, right? Everybody sees themselves and identify yourself as a situation certain kind of way. And, and, and if you've learned that and it's become your personality, a part of your persona, a part of your, your lifestyle, and this is how you identify as me, sometimes it could feel like you're coming to the edge, especially when we start to, to, to bring in other factors of source of the most high, um, those other attributes so that we can activate more fully. Again, you know, people are hurting because we're trying to figure out how do we activate? How do we put some mm on them prayers? Like how do we how do we magnetize those prayers how do we get that manifestation to come in like this is this is how we do it and in order to again to get a new life right here the new life that we are looking for to searching for trying to pull, pull in and call in we need to come together with self right understanding that we are uh soulmates with ourselves first right um once we get that relationship right, relationship with the source, ourselves, like that right there, everything else will come in. Everything else will pull in. But, you know, you might need to breathe. You might need to, you know, meditate, open up the spirit, get again, get that sludge out. People, we got to get an oil change. We got to get them gears working, get some breath of life, get that breath of life flowing through all of those energy centers. Yes. Yes. And then of course, come on spirit. We're going to call in the love right now because that's just what this, this is what it's about. You know, loving on yourself, loving on receiving the love of the most high, loving on you, loving on to others, calling in that perfect love, love your family, everything, loving your work, loving your service, love everywhere, high vibrations. That's what and that's what we're going to use, you know, to get there. So come on, spirit. Thank you so much, spirit of intelligence. Come on through with the message for your we feel. What is it that you would have? for your wheat field today. We know that love 
is what we need, right? Expressions of love. How do we use our high vibrations? Thank you, spirit. I do not know how to say her name. It looks like Rabia. R-A-B-I hyphen A. So... The queen of saintly women is who she is. I am in service of divine love. I move the way love asks me to move. That is beautiful. I move the way love asks me to move, right? So if, if the situation calls for me to be empathetic, then I can give empathy. If it's, the situation causes me to be forgiving, then I can give forgiveness, right? And first, again, on to self, right? Because honey, which one, top or bottom? top okay she keep popping out y'all lakshmi the goddess of abundance i choose to feel abundant wealth is an inside job spirit said with this right here this is new life stuff you can potentiate you can sit in the in the field of potentiality the field of infinite possibilities did you know that there was a field of infinite possibilities like that's the spirit world the field of infinite possibilities like you can go there and again, the possibilities are infinite. In the spirit, oh yeah, you can get whatever you want. I told y'all I got a whole mansion. Hey, they said in my father's house there are many mansions. How many mansions do you think I got? In my one mansion, I got a mansion with mansions. That's right, right. In my father's house there are many mansions. Not this one, spirit said, not that. Which one? This one. Fatima. Love is my lineage and my gratitude is my religion. I know that's right, spirit. Say that I say. My love is my religion. Love is the constant thing around the whole planet. The messengers can come and speak to people in various different places, and people can find the most high and source and connection to source and to others and everything around them in various different ways. Love and appreciation is the common thing, right? So whether this person considers, you know, nature and that's their affinity and that's their love, or this person considers other people or source itself or a particular messenger, however you want to slice it. All of it are facets of the most high. I mean, because we are all made by the same source. That's just how I see it. Everybody sees their own. Sarah Wati, the goddess of self-knowledge, the essence of who I am flows effortlessly, effortlessly into everything I create. Absolutely. Because you're going into you first, right? You're going to go into you. Spirit says this one, you know. No, is it this? Okay. Bridget. The goddess of eternal flame. I am, I am an eternal flame. And each day my light grows brighter. We talked about increasing lumens earlier. And we use love and expressions of love to increase our lumens. The more that we go in and, and, and dig out all that sludge and grime and gunk and all that stuff that's blocking our engines and keeping us bitter, all that self-doubt, um, all uh, self-consciousness, low self-esteem, uh, feeling of abandon, abandonment and, and, and uh, uh, unhealthy attachment styles and, and all of these things that keep us in a low vibrational uh, place, the inability, uh, grief, holy mess, grief, the grief that is, un out baby, I mean, like, it's heavy. It's like a ton of bricks. Like, like literally, like my body feels like it is just filled up with cement right now. The grief is so heavy. And that's not to say it's not like people are grieving for no, it, the gr is grief and suffering, right? Uh, is our inability to, to, to be able to go into source and find that comfort, that true deep comfort that's there. It, 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 it is there, right? And, 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 uh, our ability to go right to the most high, right to the source, right right into the kingdom and get that comfort is there. You know, I am an eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, each day I want to get this in here and focus. There she goes. Yeah. Each day my light, it grows brighter. 
as we get that stuff out and we heal and we have revelation and we work on those shadow things and pull all that stuff out, get closer to the most high, more, in, more intimate, um, just understanding self, um, uh, coming in balance with the environment around you, with the people that are around you, right? It, it, it yeah, because it's, you know, everybody in their own way, in their own understanding, right? But at the end of the day, to be in balance is, I'm sorry, source, you was trying to give me this card. And yeah, thank you. Cosmic egg sources. Get that in there. The cosmic egg, the divine feminine. I hold the universe within me. I am a force of an ever expanding love. Absolutely. You are a force of an ever expanding love. But to expand, we got to get that gunk out. You know what I mean, y'all? We got to we got to we got to clean it up. We got to clean out all that nastiness, that gookiness, that stickiness that's stuck to us, that's deep inside of our cells and that, that mess that we are birthing out. We got to clean it up and clean it out. We got to purge it. You know, shit, we might need to, you know, an enema or something. I don't know how we get this shit out, y'all. I'm just saying we got to we got to do it. The goddess of never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. That's right. Close it out, spirit. Yeah, tell tell we feel. What you say? I gotta read it one more time so I don't forget. Oh my God, we gonna have to take both of these because I had to read it one more time, y'all. We got another one behind us. Spirit, look. I'm saying this is real. Okay. Everything happens for my liberation. I choose to become only more love. The more we get that mess out, we have more space to expand for more love, more vibrations, more frequencies, expressions of love, more empathy, more sympathy, more compassion, right? More comfort, more counsel. Okay. More, more, more understanding. Yes. That's how we get there. More understanding. And then we get some understanding. And we ask for the instruction, right? And we move with the most high like that. Oh, yeah, that leads you into a place of wisdom. And then you start to operate. What did that book, what did the Bhagavad Gita say? Those who be uh who seek the most high in wisdom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that Solomon in uh energy right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They they go together. I'm saying most high done spoke to us across the world with this here thing. You think he ain't give all his people the world the word? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, it is. And we're connected. We are. We are. We are connected. And, and we can do this. We can raise our vibration. We yes, we can. Because you are again. What does spirit say? The cosmic egg. I hold the universe within me. I am the force of an ever expanding love. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And with that right there, honey. Hmm. Where she go? Miss Lakshmi right here. Oh, yeah. Let her get a good look at her. Let's get that into focus right there. Let's get that in there. Can y'all see her? She says, I choose to feel abundant. Wealth is an inside job. Now you tell me if you got the universe inside of you and wealth is an inside job, you got a whole universe. Like how, how much abundance do you need when you got a whole universe inside of you? I mean, come on now. I know I got many mansions, but I don't need all the mansions. You know, I mean, I, many is enough. I ain't even going to be able to get through all the rooms that I got in the spirit. I don't know how many rooms y'all got, but I know how many rooms I got in the spirit. I'm saying, truth, look, princess, I, please, y'all can't point out a house uh, on a plane better than the one that I got in the spirit. Quit playing. And maybe you can. I don't know where your imagination go because I cannot, you know. I'll be asking the spirit to give me inspiration, y'all. I'm just saying. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. That you know that the universe lives inside of you. That people seek the most high for many reasons. I mean, because they're looking for comfort, shelter, they're in distress. You know, they, they, they may be looking for some understanding. And they just may just be downright wise knowing that, hey, that's where it's at. The kingdom is up in here and I need to, you know, seek the kingdom first, you know, or I just need to tune into me first. Like I understand that if I take care of me, I mean, because self-preservation is the first law of nature. If you don't take care of you, you can't do thing for nobody else. Right. So come inside, come inside to you, tune into you, check you out. How are you doing? Did you stop and say hello to you today? Did you walk past and smile at yourself? I hope you did. How y'all doing? I love y'all. I love y'all so much. 
yeah, this is your girl, IT, here at Tears and Week to Roll. Well, we look at those tears, y'all. We got to dig into them. We got to we gotta get this gunk out. You know, I'm cleaning out my sludge, you know, getting led in the spirit, getting some revelation, and then bring these messages on to you. As I learn, we learn, we learn together. I'll give on to you. You guys give on to me. We edify each other so that we can edify the source. Why? Because we are called, baby, you the wheat, called to be good bread. I love y'all. Until next time, I'll shave.